What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's Black Series talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today we have even more news to cover this week. We've been on an absolute Black Series news streak. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. It's been nothing but really solid reveals for the mm -hmm. most part. We've got some new Imperial March reveals. And then we also have some more Super Battle Droid pictures and some rumors. Before we jump into that, though, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Yeah, yeah. we were streaming this past Sunday with Zach from Black Series Cantina. And big shout out to Discord user Crimson Banana, who got the Super Battle Droid and 3PO 2-pack early. And they sent me tons and tons of focused crisp hd properly lit shots this might be the first time in black series history that we're seeing like in hand pictures super early and it's not shot on a 2001 motorola mm -hmm. 144p uh <laughs> camera it feels a little unusual but yeah thank you for the awesome photos so we were kind of talking about it on stream if you want to hear our full thoughts on that definitely go check out the previous stream but we do have an update to go over and this was something that lukeness kind of pointed out to us in the chat that the chest panel mm -hmm. looked like it was removable because we knew the head actually comes off on the super battle droid right. but now we have confirmation that the chest panel also is removable on the super battle droid and it just looks incredible there's so much hidden sculpted detail there's yeah. even paint there's paint under the armor pieces yeah obviously a nod to the video game republic commando and yeah we were on the stream we we're like we look like that's a little tab like stick your fingernail in there so that's when we got the updated shot after that stream but that was just such a hype moment mm -hmm. and this is tooling that the designers didn't necessarily have to do mm -hmm. it wasn't expected at all so they sort of went above and beyond and i love when there's little hidden black series features like this and anytime there's more tooling more sculpted details even a little bit of paint i'm gonna say that's a win all day every day mm -hmm. so just totally awesome news and that most likely confirms that we'll probably be getting a gaming greats republic commando repaint at some point yeah i wouldn't be surprised up next we do have a rumor report from yakface.com this one is always fun i love classic rumor reports this is a new boba fett-esque figure yeah so yak is unsure exactly what this is based on the information that they've found but based on the listing it is either a Boba Fett or a character from the Book of Boba Fett hmm. series. And I know Yak speculated a little bit on what this possibly could be. So we had a pretty popular one was Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett, which is in desperate, desperate need of a new sculpt in the Black series because the one we have now is pretty horrible. Mm -hmm. Book of Boba Fett Boba Fett, which we famously do not have. Yep without the skirt piece right with the tight black pants yeah and the, and the red boots the red boots and everything which i prefer that look definitely so i'm down for that or maybe even the tuscan warrior that tvc has yeah i'm honestly going to be a little selfish here and hope it's the tuscan warrior because okay. i already got that sweet sweet mafex empire strikes back boba fett and i have the even sweeter sh figure arts book of boba fett boba fett with the throne so i'm like you know i'm kind of good on those two okay. I'd, I'd like to get the figure that we don't have at all in six inch form and you know a black series tuscan warrior would be killer yeah i'm i'm liking the logic here i can't really argue with that because i also have the mafex <laughs> empire strikes back boba fett but i'd be down for any of these three honestly so let us know in the comments which one would you like it to be out of these three let's do a little speculating what do you think it's going to end up being and now let's move on to the imperial march reveals for this week this is allegedly the last imperial march although we've heard 
otherwise that it's going to run till May 4th. So we're kind of confused yeah. on, are there going to be more reveals? Is this the last one? Are they going to change the name of the of the reveals? Right, because real quick, the Hasbro PR email said, this concludes Imperial March. Like Hasbro ends Imperial March with a bang, or it was like something like that. I can mm -hmm. probably show you the screenshot here, but it was worded like Imperial March is over, but maybe Yak just meant we're still gonna get reveals up until May 4th. It's just not gonna be under the Imperial March banner. We'll have to see. No matter what, we kind of switched our little content night to Wednesday nights mm -hmm. up until May 4th. Just in case there are reveals, we have you covered. Let's jump into the actual Imperial March reveals, Nate. Mm -hmm. Up first, this is a big one. It's a really big one. It is the previously pipelined uh, The Last Command 4-pack mm -hmm. from the Thrawn trilogy. Yep, the, or, the original. Yeah, I know a lot of Legends EU fans were really excited for this one. The set obviously includes Luke Skywalker, which is essentially just a 40th Return of the Jedi reuse. Luke, Mara Jade with a new head, and Joris Sebeoth. And I don't want to hear anything in the comments. That is how Timothy Zahn pronounces Joris Sebaoth, Sebaoth, it's not Kaboth, look it up, it's like Sebaoth. Yeah, I, I've always said Saboth, and it looks like Saboth <laughs> to me, but I guess, I gotta trust Timothy, he's the one that wrote it, so I have to trust he knows what he's doing. Mithra <laughs> Nurodo. <laughs> look at this guy, he's <laughs> saying Thrawn's first name. So with that, we also have a price for the four pack, which it's pretty interesting. The press release said it was going to be $99.99, but then when they actually put it up on Hasbro Pulse, turns out it's $89.99, which even is- Even better. Uh, even better. I mean, even $99.99, pretty good price for four figures. You know, yeah. that's just retail for each of them. Um, but 10 bucks off is pretty cool considering two of the figures are almost, you know, one, 100, well, actually three of the figures are almost 100% reuse. Yeah. But this is actually really cool. I think we've got some pretty awesome accessories like um, Joris has Emperor Palpatine's lightning hands, yeah. which is cool to see. Luke has a new blue soft goods cloak and yeah. he's also kind of like a weird kit bash. Yeah, he's a really weird kit bash. I got the official list here of what we were able to determine. A lot of discourse in the Discord and then our group chat and everything. It appears to be the Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan Torso, Jabim mm -hmm. Obi-Wan Arms, Dagobah Luke Legs. There's a new head on it, and it looks so interesting. It, interesting is definitely one way to put it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is uh, probably one of the goofier black series heads we have ever seen but you know what at least it has an expression true uh kind of demonstrating you know evil clone loop type thing uh so you know i think this is a pretty fun set for the eu fans uh it's cool to see mara jade getting the different alternate head with like the hood piece up yeah that was actually featured on the box art of her single release but not included with that figure so yeah um the 40th return of the jedi luke i know some people were disappointed that it wasn't light cruiser luke because that would have been more accurate to the art yeah because the he, panel he definitely has more of like the tunic look going on and it doesn't include the flap you know that the mm -hmm. return of the jedi version would have or it seemingly doesn't I mean, it could be in there somewhere. Could be but packed behind him again. True, <laughs> but we don't know. The Joros is honestly kind of cool because I was expecting like Obi-Wan Kenobi OT reuse mm -hmm. or something like that. It definitely has some reuse, but it's actually a bit, you know, harder to tell what's mm -hmm. going on under those skirts. Right. Like he's like shredded. Yeah. Which I think it's different from Maul. Yeah, I think yeah. It, I think it looks different from Maul. Initially, I was like, "Oh, that's probably Maul torso." But the more I looked at it, I was like, mm, "You know, maybe it's not Maul torso." So mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. It's always nice to see them representing the EU. Uh, neither of us are really super familiar with any of these characters, but I went ahead and slapped a pre-order on it. 
because okay. it's, just, it's just cool to see different, unique EU stuff. And I have the comic book adaptation of this, so finally gives me an opportunity to sit down and read it. Yeah, looking at that box, it's almost kind of silly because once you realize those are six inch figures, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, this is like a, this is going to be a huge box. Yeah. It, once you realize how big those figures are. Right, because it is in the like traditional Lucasfilm publishing style packaging. So this thing is going to be massive. Yeah, and I saw a little bit of discourse on the price. Even if it was 100 that's cheaper than what Lucasfilm Publishing usually is. Mm -hmm. Lucasfilm Publishing is usually $27.99 a figure. Good point. That would put it at $112 at the least. Mm -hmm. I was fully expecting this to be $120 at the very least. Easy. And I wasn't expecting this amount of new, and I wasn't expecting this amount of accessories. So to the price naysayers, I will say it is under retail. Mm -hmm. Because even if it was 100 that's under Lucasfilm Publishing pricing. And at 90 that's less than 25 a figure. And I'd be willing to bet there are quite a few $28 repaints, you know, in your collection. Because that, that, that comment just gets under my skin a little bit when they're like, gee, I don't know, this is a lot of money for mostly, you know, retools. I'm like, bro, you spend $28 on exclusive Clone Trooper repaints. <laughs> like, don't... Like, come on now. Yeah, I, I I was really surprised by the price, and that honestly did help me lean into just being like, okay, I'm just going to pre-order it, you know? Yeah, I passed. It's not my cup of tea. I was never big into the EU or those late 90s. I mean, I was born in 95, so just before my time. Obviously, I know I can go back and read those books, but mm. I just never was into it, never got around to it. So it's a pass for me. But it was super awesome to see so many people hyped for it. And I know a lot of people have been looking forward to the set. And it seems to have delivered for most people. Yeah. So that's just awesome to see. Right. Now that was one for the old heads of Star Wars. But now let's get into something that's for the new heads. Okay. And we also have revealed a Phase 2 Clone Trooper and Battle Droid 2 pack. Which is going to be, again a nice price 44.99 mm -hmm. hasbro pulse slash shop disney slash amazon which the amazon listing was not actually included in the press release so it's like this press release has been totally weird well you know what else the press release said it said it was going to be 39.99 oh and I... then the full the real price ended up being 44.99. So they were wrong about the price of the 4 pack. They were wrong about the price of the 2 pack. They were wrong about it also being available on Amazon and they said that Imperial March is over and we don't know if that's true. So just don't even trust the Hasbro PR emails at this point. Yeah. But this set is another excellent multi-pack. I think this is kind of a slam dunk common sense two pack for hasbro to do yeah this is something that i feel like we've been asking for we've talked a lot about it where it's just army builder army builder mm -hmm. not jedi army builder or right. named character army builder it's just two army builders so you mm -hmm. can literally buy as many as you want and you'll just have a huge army of the excellent 2023 phase two clone trooper and while a little dated and maybe could use some work you know the b1 battle droid uh we personally here are fans of that figure although mm -hmm. i know there are plenty of people out there that despise the black yeah, series I, B1. I never had problems with mine standing all of mine stand like dream mm -hmm. like a dream so i don't know yeah, I, some of mine are, are better than others, but for the most part, they stand up all the time and are just fine. The Clone Trooper has the painted lines on the torso, which is interesting. Yeah, just those two little... Because the single <laughs> release doesn't have the painted lines. But sure. on the flip side, the B1 battle droid is completely devoid of paint. Yep, that is just colored plastic, I think. Maybe the eyes... Yeah, maybe the eyes. And like stuff like that, but none of the weathering that the original one had. Because the original one actually has some decent weathering. It does. And it is kind of odd to see it completely blank 
And I get that you could say, oh, it's like fresh off the factory, you know, it's fresh off the assembly line, but they would still have like panel lines Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it is a bit odd just to see the one, you know, just colored plastic, but you could just say it's a fresh one and maybe, you know, I don't know. People aren't really complaining about that as far as I can tell, so I can only take it so far. Passing on this one, Mm. because I already have like five or six regular B1s from that original release, and I have two playing Phase 2 on the 2023 sculpt. Maybe my only critique, and I don't even know if this is a criticism, is making this a Phase 1, like would that have made this more desirable? Possibly, or you know what probably would have just been pretty cool for them to do is just include a phase one helmet now that it's removable and there's a painted head underneath the opportunity to just include that other helmet yeah i I feel like is something they could have easily done uh, especially with that like target exclusive clone trooper two pack not that those helmets are technically swappable but it's you know couple different helmets yeah so it's interesting to see i'm all in on this i I pre-ordered two Uh, yeah this will put me at six plain 2023 phase two clone (laughs) troopers and uh only four b1s i actually don't have too many of the classic tan b1 battle droids so i'm pretty excited to get more especially because i want to you know do that little yellow circle on maybe yeah one i was gonna them. say this is great custom fodder as well especially with the under retail price the prices on these multi-packs in the black series lately have been really fair they've been under retail and what i mean by that is under 25 a figure when you piece them out mm-hmm. so good price common sense move by hasbro good army builder just because i'm passing on it doesn't mean i don't like it i don't want anyone to get that impression I'm excited. I I hate it. No, I'm excited for everyone who can now just go balls to the wall, army build, get those clones, get all the clones your heart desires. Get them now. Yeah, and it's honestly great because there's, throughout the years of the Black Series, usually the plain clones or the plain stormtroopers are always so hard to get. Yeah. So it's yeah. nice to see that Hasbro has been going so hard on the 2023 Phase 2 clone so that people have plenty of opportunities to get as many as they want. Mm-hmm. And that's honestly what I think I'm going to do is, you know, having six plain white Phase 2 clones is probably a little extreme so most likely i'm going to end up customizing a couple of them maybe changing them to a different legion or maybe dirtying them up a little bit to make them look like they've seen some battle but this is a fun set and justin inbox collectors are shaking because this is plastic free packaging too yeah it's in the same vein as the tvc army builders so this is not new like it's not like the the 2023 pfp right it's the same vein as the tvc packs which it's an army builder set it's meant for openers clearly Mm -hmm. meant for openers it's the whole point of it is army building so whatevs yeah and that was a you know absolute huge w both reveals are Mm -hmm. great i feel like this is stuff that pretty much black series fans across the board have been asking for you know more eu stuff more clones more battle droids army builders yeah army builder pack is like a big want yeah this community especially because tvc has been getting so many army builder packs for so many years and we've all just been staring through the window like when's black series gonna get the army builder packs too you know we like to army build too these pre-orders went up on wednesday the 27th the day that imperial march is supposed to be but these were revealed on tuesday for some reason even though imperial march is on wednesday like what is going on with their marketing who cares just get the figures so pre-order what you want pass on what you don't want And that concludes our thoughts on this week's Imperial March reveals. Let us know how you guys feeling on these multi-packs. And with that being said, that's all we've got for you on this week's episode of Figure It Out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, 
if you are new, we're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. And if you are in a position to help support the channel directly, we do also offer a couple different tiers of the channel membership. Definitely check those out down in the description below. And if you can't support directly, no worries there. Simply watching, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff is more than enough for us. But we do have to give a special shout out and a huge thank you to all of our current channel members. Your continued support is truly appreciated. And thank you to everyone else out there for watching. I'm Nate. I've been joined with Justin. See you guys later. And we will see you all next time on Out of the Basement. And then Joris, so both. Well, why don't I list the characters? Because I know I I I don't think it's Sebeoth. It's Sebeoth. Because we were we it was a whole thing in the Discord, and I was like, we're gonna get this pronunciation right. And someone sent a Timothy Zahn pronunciation hmm. on YouTube, and I think it's Sebeoth. Sebeoth. I just don't understand where the bay would come from. Like, say both. B A O T H. Say both. Liberty, liberty, liberty. This bro doesn't have YouTube pri premium. Okay. Joris Sabayoth. The clone is Joros Sabayoth. Sabayoth. I'm going to question S Timothy Zahn's grasp of the, of the English language on that one. All right. Well, then let's just. Why don't you allow me? Well, I, that's what I'm saying. Then then you need to restart and... Being like, should I just do the last command, previously pipeline? Yeah. All right. You just get to talk this whole fucking episode. I'll sit here quietly. Well, you can say that, and then I'll list off the character names. How about that? How about I kill you? Oh! Sebath! <laughs> I'm quitting the Black Series! This is what I think... This is what I think of figured out. Hasbro's not personally making the figures I want, so I'm gonna quit the line and sell all of my figures. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's Black Series talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today we have more news for you guys. We've been on an absolute... <laughs> Bless you. Fuck. Fuck.